I'm going to show you how to create a curved canvas for your VR application. This makes your UI look very neat and professional and is used in the Oculus homepage. So if you want to learn how to do that, stick around until the end. To get started, you want to make sure you have the Oculus integration package in your project and you can get that from the Unity Asset Store. I'll put the link down in the description. After you get that, you want to go ahead and go to Edit, Project Settings, and you want to add a layer called Hide. And then from there, you want to go ahead and search for Oculus Interaction Sample Rig, and that comes with the Oculus integration. Then we're going to drag the prefab into our scene, and then we're going to open up the prefab, and go to Input OVR, Controllers, Right Controller, Controller Interactors, and we want to add something called the controller ray interactor and we're going to search for that prefab and then drag it under our controller interactors. And then from there, we want to go ahead and open the controller ref on it and drag the right controller into the controller slot. Now we want to go to all left center and right eye anchors and then we want to remove hide from the culling mask. And then we're done with this and we can move on to the next thing. We're going to create an empty object and call it curved canvas. And inside of it, we want to go ahead and put the canvas that you want to turn into a curved canvas. You can choose any canvas that you want. I already have a prefab ready, so I'm just going to import that. And you can put any kind of UI that you would use in a regular canvas. From there, what we want to do is put it into the hide layer and make sure that all the children are in the hide layer as well. Then we're going to add a component to it. And that component is going to be the canvas render texture. We're going to change the rendering layers on that to hide and remove the UI layer. And then we're going to select and change to 500 for the pixels per unit and select generate mip maps. After that, we want to create another empty object and call it canvas cylinder. And then from there, what we want to do is change it to the UI layer and then add a mesh collider component, a canvas cylinder component, and then drag our canvas into the canvas render texture and also drag the mesh collider into the collider. And then we're going to add a canvas component. We don't have to change anything for that. And then we're going to add uh, ray interactable component and in this ray interactable we're going to drag our mesh collider into it and after that we're going to go and add another component called pointable canvas and then we're going to drag the ray interactable into the pointable component and our canvas into the canvas component After that, we want to add a canvas mesh pointable component. And then we want to add the ray interactable into the pointable and our canvas cylinder itself into the canvas render texture. And then from there, we're going to add pointable canvas unity event wrapper, and we're just going to leave it as is. Now that we're done with that, we're going to create another object and call it module. And we're going to set it just as zero so it's neater. And then we're going to add a component to it called pointable canvas module. And all of these scripts come with the Oculus integration package. And then it adds event system by itself and we're ready to go test in the headset. As you can see, we have a curved canvas and we can go ahead and interact with the buttons and all the UI elements on it, just like you would with a regular canvas. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you'd like next. Thank you for watching.